Okay, well, look who's here. The former CEO of Home Depot and Chrysler Automotive. He's Bob Nardelli. Okay, it's good to see you, Bob. Okay, let's take this on. President Biden in Wisconsin today touting a $3 billion Microsoft artificial data in, uh, center. But we hate to say it, he made two more whoppers today. Let's listen to this, Bob. He read again the teleprompter instructions. You're going to hear him say the quote, the words last name after a guy he talked about. Then he wildly claimed he met with all the architects of AI. Listen to this. My theology professor at the Catholic school I went to was a guy named Riley, last name. And he had been drafted by the Green Bay Packers. Today, it's another example of the private sector optimism. Microsoft, as the president already pointed out, is investing $3.3 billion to build a new data center here in Racine. That's going to help operate one of the most powerful artificial intelligence systems in the world. And I've gone around the world, literally, not figuratively, meeting with the leading architects of AI. Really? Really? And he traveled 20,000 miles with Xi Jinping. What's your reaction? Well, look, uh, we, we know that uh, I've never seen an administration with so many missteps and debacles. Let's face it, he spent $7 trillion to pander to his supporters and big donors. And then he's handing that money out to try to, you know, solicit voters going forward. AI will dwarf all of the actions that he's tried to support through EV. Uh, Microsoft said they'll spend a trillion dollars on AI. I think you'll see AI accepted because it will provide productivity. It will offset some of the labor increases that we've seen. So I do agree AI will be powerful. I doubt if he's traveled the world and really talked to all yeah, of the major I, I, it's AI. Ju it's just too much. It's, it's abnormal. This is not normal. Him on the campaign trail is not normal. It's abnormal. The constant gaslighting, the constant propaganda, the constant exaggeration. You know, political poll, Bob, two-thirds of voters say they see no benefits to Biden's massive spending on climate and infrastructure, spending taxpayer money. He's running ads in seven battleground states to boost that. They don't think, they don't pay attention to it at all. It, won't all of this spending just ignite more inflation and tax hikes to pay for it? Because, Bob, Tax Foundation already estimates, you know, Biden wants to wipe out the Trump tax cuts if he gets reelected next year. That's going to raise taxes by about $3.8 trillion. We're going to each pay an average $2,900 more. California and San Francisco, they're going to pay more than $16,000 more. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, the political article was kind. I, I I don't see any benefit really trickle, trickle down. You know, he wants to do bottoms up versus top down. I just don't see it. And I think the people that did give him some pander probably just aren't informed and they're just listening to some of the headlines. list. So I, I don't think any of his initiatives have really hit the mark over the last three, three and a half, four years. You know, I've lived through seven recessions and maybe now we've got an eighth coming at us. We've only got three Fed meetings left to go. There's no way they're going to reduce it. So I, I, I think, again, we're on a witch hunt here with this administration, and they really aren't doing what's right for, you know, he's using the taxpayer's credit card to fund all of these things, and it is going to come home to root. Got it. Bob, you're terrific. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope to see you again soon.